How about you, I'm Hank? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. We got Wiley with me today. What's going on? Hey, you doing all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You missed uh, lunch. I charged it to you, though. Oh, okay, well, I appreciate it. You're, you're always right. thinking about me. I am. You are. It's like you're there. Dude, we've got an yeah. awesome machine. That's, we, we're driving down the road, sitting on the side of the road. Wiley looks up and goes, hey, stop the truck. Stops the truck, boom. He sees this yellow poking through the bushes here. And uh, yeah, this was this was a couple weeks back. And we get in touch with the owner. Lo and behold, they let us film it. Crazy, ain't it? So, what, I mean, what's the backstory behind it? What's, uh, how long has it been set? You know the... Well, it was a, a logger, and his logging crew was two daughters and his wife. Oh, nice. <laughs> so they always nagged him. And the dog... <laughs> Hank, Hank said that <laughs> while he was not involved in that one. This is... Uh, and the daughter run this one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. And anyway, he died. He passed away, got okay. sick, passed away. Yeah. And she tried to stay with it another year or two, and then they just give it up. And I think it's been sitting here. I think he passed away in 17. So maybe since seven, I mean, 15, maybe. And she ran a couple of years, maybe 2017. Okay. So not, not too long, 8, uh -uh. 10 years, something like that. So, man, I can't do math. 2017. I can't do math. One, two, Earnhardt, four. Yeah. You know. And riding down the dirt road and logging on brakes. <laughs> five, five years. So we'll call it five years. Yeah. Fifteen. We'll call it fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen years. So a tiger cat, what did they usually run in them? Cummins. This will have a Cummins in it for okay. sure. All right. This model will. Yeah. This will be like the Cummins we started in that combine. Oh, and I, I didn't bring the, a porter that's power. That's going to be the 8.3 probably Cummins in it. Yeah. I didn't bring a porter power now. But uh, anyway... Got the old uh, felon buncher head. Corn head. Corn, huh? Corn. corn. Is that what they call it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So. Corn water. Oh, yeah. Oh, the uh, manufacturer. Yeah. Yeah, okay, gotcha. You know, corn used to make excavators and... They did. orange and they had That's right. machine That's right. that dug out the mm -hmm. ditches and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 726B. 726B. Really, I probably, uh, I did bring the, I did bring the um, chainsaw. The cordless chainsaw, so we'll uh, the battery powered chainsaw. So we'll fire that up. I'm gonna put the link to that battery powered chainsaw in the, the I'll put the Amazon link in the description below. I'm telling you, man, I'm a fan of that thing. It's a little D wall 12 volt. I throw a 60, I think it's a 60 amp battery on it, uh, you know, 20 volt, 60 amps. And that thing, I don't know what kind of battery I throw on it. I will look when I go put the battery on it. I'll put the link in the description. Before we actually get started on this, I ran into John at Harbor Freight. And so, John, if you're watching this, it was nice to meet you, man. I enjoyed our little conversation. So uh, I appreciate you stopping me and saying hello. And I just wanted to give you a shout out over at Cut, Cutting Up Landscaping, John. So good, good to see you, John. Hopefully I can meet you again in the future. So let's get this cut and uh, go from there. What do you think? Okay. Wiley, you know what kind of tree that is, bush that is? A, a dead one? <laughs> That's uh, persimmons. You guys got persimmons where you live? I'll give you five dollars if you put one of those in your if you put pop that in your mouth right quick and, and eat it. I'll give you five dollars cash right now. Up it a little bit. <laughs> you want me to tell you something about puckering up? Man, these things right here will make if they're not ripe, those suckers will make you pucker. Well, I believe those are ripe. <clears throat> make some persimmon pie out of it. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, okay, let's let's go work on the tiger cat. All right, <laughs> let's get this thing cut out of here, Wiley. Let, let, let me do that, Hank. No, I'm gonna let you pull the limbs. Can you cut them low enough where we don't trip and impale ourselves? Yeah, I just kind of work in there. Try to cut this tire while I'm at it. Timber! Timber! <clears throat> Gotta get all these briars off here. You know, I'm fragile, Wiley. These briars hurt. Get the briars out of the way. Let's just work our way on this one, what do you think? Uh, 
Hey Wiley. Hey. I had a friend of mine. He was so good at sweeping girls off their feet, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, back in high school. But man, he is the most aggressive janitor I've ever met in life, my life. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, come back side. Ready? Yeah. Got it. All right, that's it. That's it. Timber! It, it won't hurt but once. Hold on, let me cut it up for you. It's been a long time since we cut th cut our way into something, ain't it? Yeah. You remember the superliner mat we had to cut our way into? Yeah. It's not about ten miles from here. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Now that you say that, I know that. That's pretty awesome. Seven twenty six B. There you go. One more on the other side? Several on the other side. Oh. Hopefully we're starting to get enough room, you know? All right, what do you think, Eric? Kimasabi. Yeah. Let me get that one beside the door. Sure. Call it good. I love the way you run that chain. <laughs> <laughs> get these out of the way, so when we move it, they're not stopping the tractor from the machine from going in there. Yeah. That stops it. We're in trouble, aren't we? Sometimes I crack myself up. Huh? You do. All right, cool. Let's get here and see what she looks like. It's too cold for wasp. You're not going to pull that unless you break the strap. You don't tear the lady's machine. <laughs> <coughs> wow, look at how good it looks in there. Good one. It smells like straw. Well, I'm sorry, what? Nothing. Smells like squirrel. Uh, you want to tell you what's funny? Look at how... That would be strange to hear something. <laughs> so, uh, me say, say funny. something funny? Yeah. That never happened. Look at how the moss didn't grow over the letters. You know? <laughs> I find that intriguing. What, what is that? Ain't that something? Maybe they just don't want to stick to the... Black letter. The other side's open though. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's fire the engine compartment up. Right there. Does it pull? Yeah, it does. Here, here, here. here. That one might need some uh, liquid wrench on it, maybe. Here it goes. That just pull toward me? You got one on top too, don't you? No, I just it just needs to be persuaded. It's out there. 
Got a hammer. <clears throat> Might just need a hammer. Cause you can look behind and see that it's not connected. I'm gonna just say it. Just, just. Supposed to lift up just a little bit, I think. Yeah, well, this it's free here. Yeah. The filter was changed in 05. It's not bad. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's hard to imagine, isn't it? If the man passed away and It's gonna be fun to put back on. <laughs> you know what? Oh, I like that, Hank. That starter and battery thing is right there looking at us. Son. Right here is where you get to the batteries. Need your hammer again, Hank. And maybe a wrench. All four or just two? Is it? Well, I thought just two. I bet it does. I mean, obviously it'll swivel if you just yeah. take two of that. Obviously. Obviously. Let me move out of the way for that nah. swivel. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at the fluid level. Almost full. That's awesome, Wiley. Wow. Oh, this is that. This is to fill the hydraulic fluid with. That's right. That's awesome. And there's the battery box. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna sit here and pretend to tie my boot. You run and get them batteries. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'll get them, Wiley. Like so. Look how clean it is. You know? It does not have that many hours on it. Yeah, let's get up in there and let's take a look at the cockpit, shall we? We'll put the positive in first. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, ma'am. Um, I see the, okay, so this will be the positive here. This is the positive. All right. Did you tighten that up? It's, that's sparking a little bit. Oh, I guess because I'm barely touching the... Let me go get the uh, bite scripts. Yeah, I'm going to try to tighten these down as best I can on this side. The whole nut, the whole screw is turning, the whole bolt is turning.
too. Yeah, I'm gonna need some vice grips for mine too, Wiley. Beating on that, beating on them terminals just for my friends. And, and they're going through diesel college. It's a proven technique to make your instructor. Well. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm gonna need a. Uh, I'm gonna need at least one more set, I think. Well, let me get them. <clears throat> That still don't look, that still don't feel good. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey, we'll try it like this, Wiley. Do what? Well, I mean, if you already got them, I'll, I'll, I'll sling them on there, but I think so we can try it like this and see. All right, I'm gonna jump there and see if we're getting lights on the switches, Wiley. Man, this is clean, clean. What I'm talking about. So you got your oil temp, your oil pressure, water temp, Tack and bolts. Your pedals. This probably do the ones. Uh, do the ones on the floor like close the uh, the bunch the felon buncher on your left foot. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Your right foot's forward and reverse. Oh, okay, and then break in the middle. I assume. All right. All right, something moved, but we don't get no volts, so we must not have it. We must not have a good connection. But that's all right. We still got to check the oil and stuff. I'm going to push it. this uh, Sir? fuel plunger here. I mean, it's got this where you push the uh, you pressure out, you know. Primer. Primer. Feels good. Right on. Cause oh, all on this side. Yeah, I believe so. Well, of course it is, right? Yeah, it's right there. Wow. Yeah. It's right there, right there behind that thing. Yep. Let's see what this thing's doing. Man, that's like making some oil. <laughs> Man, I can't believe it. Did you ring that? I can't believe it. It's where it's sitting. <laughs> yeah. Plenty. Well. Yeah, it can't be two for two, can you? Nope. Yep. Use your good eye. <laughs> <laughs> What you say? What, yeah, I'm trying. What's to... the date of manufacture on that thing? It is. Might be up on this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking here. Hold on, Wiley. Wiley, hold on to me. It'll, it'll tell us what size it is. Whatever it will be, will be. It's 505 slash 83. So what is that? That's cubic inch diameter, 505. So what's that equate to? Got no idea. 8.3? We'll Google it. Has it got 8.3 on it? I, don't, I can't see that yet. I'm looking, but I ain't seeing it. It's got plenty. It's, it's, it's well covered up. I mean, it's well uncovered, I think. Fuel, timing, engine. Oh, eight. What do you call it? 
8.3? Yeah. All right, and the data manufacturer? Ugh. Serial number, engine model, specs, fuel, family, firing order, gross horsepower. Uh. Data manufacturing, 1999. 1999. October of 99. I wanted to print right this song about this one. Well, I, I'm sure he partied like it was 1999 yeah. for sure. Uh, I bet you the people that was listening to the, that was building this heard that song as it was coming down the center line in Canada. Yeah. You know what? And I bet they indeed party. And they probably had everything all covered up for Y2K. Remember that fiasco? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Leave a comment below if you remember about Y2K. Whole world was going to end, yeah. you know? About like, well, we've only got eight more years before the climate takes us, right? Cause it, ain't that what that politician said we had 12 years before the world ends? Something like that? I think so. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, so let's, uh, okay, what's going on? What, why did that just... That's weird. You see that? Did you see that? Mm. Look, it dripped all over here. It's coming out of my bill of my cat. I know I ain't sweat. I thought it might have been blood or something. Scared me to death. Anyway, oil's good. Mm -hmm. Hydraulic fluid's good. Yep. Where's the water at? Is it up top here? Right there at you. Radiator's up front. All right. I okay. have a reservoir, but it should be. That's well, the radiator. Yeah, I can see the. I mean, oh, if you can't see it. Yeah, I can't see it. All right. Well, we'll watch the temp gauge too. How about not helping? You just do it. I oh, do that. You got to go in. Yeah, that's right. Let me yeah. get my. Oh gosh. Grab that. You got to do it reverse the way it comes. <laughs> I might be. Come on, Adam. Watch your fingers. I'm fixing to go with it. All right. You ain't even there, back guys. <laughs> Is that, is that it? No, you got to come up here. There you go. Teamwork makes a dream. It's a. Uh, it ain't got good connections. That, that voltmeter is just barely. Ain't got good. <laughs> 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 You know what I think is funny? That we, us rednecks critique each other in our Queen's English. <laughs> now if you said I ain't got none. Yeah, I, we need to clamp us down harder or something. You know? It's this one right here that's loose. Huh? This is main one right here. You know what? Well, hang on a minute. Let me fix this. Let's see. Let me get a... The rest of them should be good. Will you hand me a 9 16 please? Yes, sir. I sure will. Thank you. Much gooder.
Yeah, there you go. Sorry, I meant. I thought that's why you grabbed the 916. No, I meant to bring it up because it was kicking it up. Oh, gotcha. I just said if I could get that right, away. Right. So how many, in all your logging experience, how many women crews have you seen? Not many. Really, I, I, truly, I was asking for a really. I was asking really it's just for not a number. Many. I just don't know. It's maybe <laughs> two. You six. Know, I've seen some lady truck drivers. Yeah, of course. I've never seen a whole. I mean, his, one daughter ran this, the other daughter ran the skitter. Yeah. And the wife run the stroke D limber. That's crazy, ain't it? He drove the truck. Yeah. Loaded, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard work. Not to say that women can't do it, but because they obviously did. But yeah. Yeah, it's hard work. Bouncing around in this thing all day. Shoot. Tough. Well, let's see if you got any more juice up there now. 10-4, I'll do that. Roger. No, nothing. Huh? Nothing on the voltmeter. You want me to just bump it, see? Oh, Wally, is there a master disconnect? I've got it on. You got nothing in the cab? No, sir. You want me to try to bump it? Just see what it is there. Oh, what was that? Something, something sound like metal clanging. Bump it again. Oh, oh. Come in, I'll show you uh, the, the uh, Yeah, I'm gonna turn it off, okay? Fan belt broke. Pardon me? Fan belt broke. Oh man. That's all right. We won't run long. What, is that what you're gonna show me? I just want to see you get out of here. <laughs> On my knees. <laughs> well, that stinks. Yeah, something's rolled up. Can we done put this? I saw the hour meter in the... Uh... Yeah, how many hours? No, I, but I couldn't... I, I, I saw it. I didn't look at it. It's, it's down there by your right foot. Yeah. I'll go... Next time I climb back up in there, I'll look. Okay. I can't get back here my big old side. Right, yeah, it'll, just try it, see what it do. It's, that's what it was. This fan belt broke. Where the... One of those tensioners or pulleys froze up, isn't it? Probably. You know why they call it serpentine belt? No, I'm <laughs> just joking with you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Riley, sometimes I crack myself up. Got a whole set turbo on it. That's what I'm talking about. Can you tell by looking at the belt and the rubber? How long it's been sitting? How long it sat on that pulley. Let's spin it over and see what we can do with it. Handful. You should have got that door open while you was up there. Well, sometimes. Sometimes I ain't as smart as you, Wiley. Definitely. You know, that's the first thing to healing. <laughs> Recognizing my problem? Yeah. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, all right, here we go. Beautiful. Okay. Beautiful. People with familiar with the channel will recognize this truck. We started it maybe a year ago. Had over a million miles on it. Transmission was giving trouble. And we sold it and the guy fixed it up. And it, uh, he wrecked it a couple of weeks ago, ran it off in a ditch, come up on, I think probably driver error. Come on, on drive. I, I don't know just exactly what happened. Um, maybe I'll find out a little bit more as the video goes on. But you can say, you can tell where he hit hard right here. Knock that front end back.
I bet you there's a hole right in the center of this driver's seat. And people who know what I'm talking about knows what would cause that hole in the middle of a driver's seat. Can this thing be salvaged? Probably. Let's see how many miles they put on this thing since since we filmed it. But I tell you, it's it 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 was a pretty clean truck. They've done a lot of cleaning up and straightening up on it. Looks like the lighting all got knocked out when it laid over. But they had went through the transmission, spent a few thousand dollars on it. Did he replace the rear end in this? Uh, no, we uh, took, had to put some air bag and move this yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. It just looked red, but uh, I remember that now because it, was, uh, it wasn't doing right, was it? Right, no, he was, he was walking to the side. Yeah. We had to re put the bag mount back on the pallet and, and, and weld it back down because it was had broken loose. Right. And just we picked these up in Hoa Wall, Tennessee, from where we delivered a piece of equipment. Uh, same guy that bought the five four seventy Hydrax. The old knuckle boom loader that we had so much tire trouble with, the John Deere loader that had the good engine in it. On our last load we delivered, he said, can you help me get rid of some of these brake shoes? And I said, I think I know a place that relines them that may give you, a, that may be interested in them and give you a decent price for them. So I've come here today to load them up on my trailer over there and carry them to the brake shoe, carry them to where they are. Uh, I come over here today and I'm going to take my little old trailer over there and load these two pallets up and carry them to the people and just see what they'll give for them. He's got several more totes of them and see if we can't make a deal. I'll keep y'all posted. All right, ready? Yeah. Keep going? Yeah, come on. Are you wild? Are you serious? Wiley, what was that? A half rotation? Let me see how many hours this thing's got on it. <laughs> 14. <laughs> but Hank, as, as most of the viewers know, as all of the viewers know, that's what the trouble is when they sit up so long. I can't, I can't get down there and see. Oh my God. I can't, man, where do you think I am? 20? Dang, I'm 60 years old, Wiley. Why don't you take your camera out and take a picture of it? Because <laughs> I ain't got my phone with me. Here. I got it right here. Uh, 3,058. Amazing. 3,058 hours. And that thing didn't even well, no do No wonder it didn't want to change since 125 or 5. Hey, one thing we didn't say, he had a track fella buncher. A yeah. track machine. And he probably used it and this, and this one just didn't accumulate hours. He did not buy this new. Right. It was bought, uh, I don't know how many hours it had on it when he bought it. But those are original hours. You're I mean, did find, it even do half hour? Did it even do a half you're, turn? You're not going to find, I doubt, anywhere a 19, what was that, 99 model? Yeah. Machine with 3,500 hours on it. 3,000. 3,058. 3,050. Or 3,500, hey. <laughs> well, I just, you know, if somebody's interested in it, you know. Wow. Needs a fan belt. I mean, that's got to be worth something. <laughs> so I had a guy, me, me <laughs> Wiley. I don't think I told you this. You take a picture of that for me. Oh, gosh. Here I am. I mean, we fan belt broke we got to go from will it start to sell <laughs> <laughs> i had a guy email me huh? and he said uh he said uh he saw a piece of uh, uh that we cranked up and he was all like uh 
oh man, he goes, that thing didn't even have any water in it, man. He goes, it ain't going to be worth that much. And I thought, really? That was your email? Didn't have water in it? How about the rusted frame and the no brakes and the... <laughs> he said, that thing didn't have no water in it. Hey, you remember the other 8.3 uh, Cummins we did on the uh, cotton picker? Yeah, it cranked once we got it figured once out. We, yes, yeah. we thought this was locked up, that was locked up, but right. it wasn't, I forgot what it was. It was the ground. It wasn't getting good connection. Yeah, that's correct. It was the ground. And once we got that, it fired right up. Let me fire this up again. You want to? Let's do it. All right. Ready? That's insane. Sit the head will come up. I don't, right. This way? Front, we're going to try to lift the head. Yeah. Is there buttons to push? Or? Probably to shut, you, shut the doors and see if that's it. Come do it. Yeah, I didn't know. I I've never run one of these, so I was I did both joysticks. Uh, I, do you get? Is there a throttle on it, or is it just? Well, a, let's see. There might be a. Uh, what's this right here? AC. Oh, this is all see. climate stuff here. Right there, hit that, hit that, crank it back up, hit the pilot control, and that's going to put the... Yes? Yeah, that'll put, that'll put the uh, hydraulics to work. Hit okay. the pilot control. Okay. Here we go. I heard it then. Nothing? Still nothing? I hit reset and it. it went, it doesn't stay down. Alright, start it back up. Oh, there's a throttle. This one doesn't, this one I'll go side to side. AC blows. What about the oil No, no, no. not getting any power to that. Dash. Start to work. Yeah. I'm going to turn it off. Probably have some. Probably have some mice or blow the fuse. Yeah, that's what I would guess too. Probably gonna have to track that down. Yeah. Yeah, probably. That would be my guess. Would be a, a get the hot. It don't it don't have the hot. Yeah, going to the cab because none yeah. of the gauges worked. Uh -uh. So. Uh, well, what are you gonna do? I think before we leave with that compressor, yeah, let's get this tire aired up because oh. I'm gonna go get a belt. Oh, okay. And put on here, right? And uh, try to. I'm sure it's a wire got chewed off or something. Sure. Which why it's not getting you any do a little deeper, to the dash. deeper research on the yeah. wiring problem. Okay. Three thousand hours on it. it it's it's. Uh, yeah. I'd like to come back, get it running, move it out of this okay. anyway. So we know it runs. Let's get it aired up so that when we come back, and yeah. this will be a second video because we're probably getting pretty long in this video now. Right. Let's get this aired up, and uh, and then the next time you see this thing, we'll um, we'll be putting a belt on it and driving it around and all that stuff. Right. So make sure you got your notification bell turned on. Let's get this thing aired up, ready to go. All right. So this I, my my air hose is set up for half inch. Yes. But I don't have a I don't have a half inch chuck. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do a little. 
a little adapting here. Why's it gotta be a chuck? Why can't it be a bob? Yeah, that's right. Alright. That's gonna go into there. Lock into that. And then we'll take this off and connect it to that and then plug it in. Okay. And then she will be. Okay. Oh, okay. Hang on. You got to hold that, don't I you? I know, but I ain't got I ain't got two. I ain't got. It. I ain't got it. Go ahead. Hey. Use hang your on. man hands there, son. Watch out. Hang on, watch out. You're on, you're on my bad finger. <laughs> oh. Throw my stuff around. Just like that, huh? Got an adjustable wrench. That's a 15, 16, 17. That's what I got on this. Right here. Yeah. So we need adjustable for that side. Yeah. That's too big too, isn't it? Yeah, where's the, I can't see. I'm blind. Here's your good eye. Let me get. When all else fails, grab what you know will work. Somebody had mentioned that we should bring a little step ladder with us. Well, we got to, as soon as my 95 Ford gets tagged and insured, we'll, uh, we'll be taking it around. It won't be, it won't be that bad. Swivel? Yeah. Where's it swivel on your hose? No, 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 no. You're turning the whole hose. Oh, well, here I need snap ring pliers. To be honest with you. Oh yeah, I'm turning. Yeah. Yeah, because that's one piece. All right. Yeah. Well, you need to take that off. I'm gonna get my needle nose. Well, you need to. Hey, or either let's just take the hose off and. I don't have any snap ring pliers with me. Well, we we'll just take the hose off. What do you mean? That's 50 feet. Land? <laughs> okay. I just rolled that thing up too. Well, up here. Get that out under. Do what? There. All right. Yeah, just set it down and I'll pull it out. 50 feet. Turn it toward me so I can have some. Uh, this is dumb. <laughs> Here, let me have this. You're the one that said set it down. <laughs> I think you're supposed to set it down. Because it, it's supposed to be, now, I'll hold it. You, you, uh. It won't, the uh, Pull. There you go. Finally. Finally. That was embarrassing. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> Cameraman, they've run off. <laughs> you got, you got 48 more foot to go. Wow. Three hours later. Hold on. There you go. This is embarrassing. All right, now we can. Yeah. Put that adapter on here. I hope it don't leak. All right. We're going, we're going green.
All right, let me jump up here right quick. Hey, when you jump up there, we need a, a pipe wrench. Okay. I can do that. There you go. No, it don't work if you ain't got the... Really? I gotta turn this uh, electrical connections to this battery right quick. Oh. I need that nine sixteenths when you when you get a chance. I had a chance. <laughs> it ought to crank well. <clears throat> Most of them got those lawnmower batteries that I'm at. <laughs> yeah. I checked my fluids in this before we brought it, so everything's good as far as fluids go. You know? Yeah. Definitely good. <laughs> Walking there comes on at uh, four o'clock. I'd probably take out that trying to pull a start it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, 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 my. All right, ready? Now watch what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that paint still on that bow stem. First time in 20 years. Sounds like it, don't it? Yeah, it's coming out. I can't hear it, but I think it's working. Can you hear that? The compressor? No, this, if there's air going into it. I was just looking for some dirt coming off that tire. I believe it's working. It's bad when you can't when you're deaf, you know what? It's going to take 40 forever. Bad when you're dead. <laughs> that too. Actually, I'd be glad when I... I'd be in heaven. Uh. What's the trick? Yeah. What? <laughs> right, it wouldn't. See if it would stay. We'll just take... We'll rotate. How's that? I believe that's working. What do you think?
I'll have to do it while those are handy. I think a girl run this machine. You don't think I could put it up there? She probably went 80. You got to look up top there. Come toward me if you can. There you go. Kick it. Maybe. Yeah, it's got to go back another inch. Lock on. Pretty good, ain't it? Yeah. It's almost there anyway. I mean, it's almost there. I get it. I got it. Go get your checker. Go get my what? I put the checker back in your door. Air pressure. Air checker in your door. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know if this will fit. Surely got more than 20 pounds. Well, they don't hold. Won't hold about 30. 28 is about 28, 32. About 22 on the gear. I'm guessing 30 pounds. Try it. About twenty, about twenty-seven. How come we couldn't figure that out when we first started? I held it. Probably got enough pressure in it now. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I guess we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get? Huh? 
me just snug it. Yeah. Nice. First use of the air compressor, the old central pneumatic, Harbor Freight. We bought this for the half inch drive or the inch drive impact gun we got. Worked pretty good. Um. Wait, is there a 9 16th over here somewhere? Clean up this mess. Thank you for grabbing those batteries. Man, Wally, that thing fired up. Half rotation. Yeah, I was surprised. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. About time we had another easy one. We went through, it's funny how we go through spells, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, and do a two, two or three easy ones and then two or three uh, hard ones and then back to two or three easy ones. Hardest part about this one is getting those trees cut out. And I did all that hard work. <laughs> hey, listen, check out what's coming next on Hamiltonville Farm. Appreciate you guys. God bless you guys. We appreciate you guys watching the video. Remember, there's discount codes in the description box below. We'll see you in the next video. God bless you guys.